Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Swart Italic and Giula. This game was played in Seged in 1997. And where is Seged? Seged is the city in Hungary. In this game, Swart Italic had white pieces and he started with d4. Giula played knight to f6. c4, e6. Knight to c3 and bishop to b4. Nimzo in the end defense. Queen to c2, d5, a3. Bishop takes knight and white recaptured with queen. Knight to e4 attacking the queen. Queen to c2, knight to c6, e3 e5, c takes on d5, queen takes on d5, bishop to c4, attacking the queen, queen to a5, and Atalic played b4, attacking the queen. How should black continue? Should black take the pawn on b4? What do you think? Is that a good idea? In the game, Jula captured the pawn. Queen takes on e4. Knight to c2 check. King to e2. Queen to e1 check. King to f3. Knight takes rook. Who is better? Obviously, black is better materially, but this is not the end of the story. Actually, this is just the beginning of the very imaginative play by Suat Atalik. Atalik played bishop to b2. Giula cast at king's side. King to g3, making it room for the knight on f3. King to h8. Perhaps better try would be queen to d1. But after knight to f3, black would still, I believe, capture the rook on h1. In the game we have king to h8. d takes on e5. Bishop to e6. Knight to f3. Knight and rook are attacking the queen. Rook is not defended. So black captured the rook on h1. Black is much better materially now. If only black king can survive the attack now. Knight to g5. Threat is queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate. g6. We have reached the most critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? In the game, Suat Talik sacrificed the knight on f7. Is that the move that you would play too? Rook takes on f7, what else? Bishop takes bishop. Rook to g7. Bishop to f7, clearing the path for the pawn. Sacrificing the bishop on f7. And Jula captured the bishop. e6 check. King to g8. Queen to d4. Threatening queen to h8. Check mate. King to f8. Pawn takes rook. King takes pawn. Queen to d7. And black resigned. Let's have a look what black can do in this position. If king goes to g8, then there is checkmate in one. 
So what are the other options? If king goes to f8, then queen to g7 check, king to e8, bishop to f6, threatening checkmate, which can't be stopped. A random move, and then queen to e7, checkmate. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.